Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Alex. Um, so I finally decided what I'm going to do to raise money for top surgery. And I need to raise $5,500. So, what I'm going to make is the Paracord Survival Bracelet. You can see it at survivalstraps.com. I'll put that down there in the details box or whatever it's called. Um, but basically, it's a length of paracord, which is a really strong rope. It can hold 550 pounds. Um, I think it's per inch or 550 pounds total. I don't know. It's tested at 550 pounds. Um, and what it is, is a rope that has an outer sheath, which is colored, and then seven white inner strands right here. And these are just kind of in there, so they're really easy to pull out. So if you have 10 foot of this stuff, you really have 80, because you have 70 feet worth of inner strands and, you know, 10 foot of outer sheath. Um, and what they're made for is people that, you know, just want to have rope on them in case of an emergency, or just because they look pretty cool. So, uh... I'm going to have three different styles that I will be selling, and there's actually a lot more options once you get down to the closures for them. Uh, but three basic styles. The first one is going to be the regular width. You can get them in single colors or double colors, and I'm going to show you a double colored one, a two colored one. And basically, let me fix my focus here. Oop. Looks like this. Um, I don't really know how focused I am because my glasses aren't on. Looks like this right here. Okay, so that's your knot. Um, then it would close with this side release buckle, little plastic buckle, and there's your bracelet right there. Um, the buckles that I have are curved, so they aren't really reversible. If they were, you could have, you know, like that, basically. Um, but I don't have the flat ones right now. I can get them if you want them. You just have to let me know. Uh, the other option is a double wide or, uh, I guess, extra wide, wide version, double layer. There we go. That's what I was looking for. And uh, it basically looks like this right here. And you can see underneath where I did that extra layer. And then here's the, the outer layer right there. And it's the same knot just over itself. Um, you know, close it up. Here's the back, the buckles. Oops. There you go. Now this is in blue and black. First one is obviously yellow and blue uh, next to each other. So you can see the width difference. They look like that. So regular and wide. Then the third option, I actually don't have one made up right now, um, I haven't gotten around to it recently, uh, but it will be a quick release um, for those that really want it for emergency purposes uh, instead of just to help me raise money or because they look cool. Um, normally if you want to unravel one of these, which if you want it to look cool and you need it, hey there you go. Um, but normally whenever you would unravel these you'd untie this knot right here and you'd you know, pull the uh, string through each row. Uh, it's like undoing a shoelace. Uh, same with this one, only you'd have to do it down one way and then back. With the quick release, it's basically a series of loops and knots and I don't know, but basically whenever you need it, you would undo the knot at the top and just pull. Um, so instead of undoing, you know, a hundred knots, you're undoing two and then just pulling apart. Um, so those are going to be my three options. The color options are, as of right now, this will change once I have enough money to order more colors. Um, I'm sorry they don't have more, but as of right now I have this dark navy blue, I have bright, 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 bright yellow, and I have black, which is also right here. Um, so those are my three color options for right now. Uh, when I get more money, I or when I get a summer job, or when I sell a couple, um, I'll go and I'll get whatever color is most requested, so probably red or green uh, or gray. I won't do white. Don't ask me to do white. Um, I just I feel like it'd get dirty too fast, and nobody wants that. So, uh, as far as the options for it closing, the buckle that I have on here is a medium-sized side release buckle. The other option is a smaller one, and it's not that much smaller. Uh, you know, you can you can tell right here. It's, it's not that much of a size difference. Um, so. That'll be one, two options. The other option is to do two keychain rings, like that. Um, I don't know how much weight they would hold, but they're a little sturdy, I don't know. But basically just for, you know, looks, it would be like that. Uh, the other option, for those that would want it more for, you know, emergency purposes, uh, you might go with this, and it's uh, tested it. The suggested weight load is 220 pounds, and it's a little carabiner, and you unscrew it, and, uh, you know, you can use it to hold your two, whatever, I don't know. I'm, I don't knot things together often, but I know you can use it for something. Uh, you know, plus it would look cool, so. So that's the options right there. 
Um, like I said, I have the curved buckles right now. I will get the straight ones if I need to, but the curved ones are more comfortable. So um, that's that. Now let's talk cost, of course. Um, for the, it doesn't matter if you get two colors or one color. I'm using the same amount of paracord. So if you want to, get two. If you want one, get one. For the um, regular width one, one or two colors, it will be ten dollars. Um, and I'm not going to count on the fact that these are two dollars, these are one dollar, and these are you know sixty cents or whatever. Those are all going to be the same cost. I'm just going to charge overall ten dollars for the single width. Since I use more paracord, I'm going to charge twelve dollars for the extra wide. Um, and then I'm also going to charge twelve dollars for the quick release because they take more time to make, uh, especially because I haven't made them yet. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. Those are the options. Uh, basically, right there you have you know the three styles and then the one, two, three, four different buckles that you can get. Five if you count the flat ones. Um, so that's a few different options for you right now. Uh, shipping, I will ship them. Uh, I don't know how much it costs to ship one. It would depend, obviously, because this one will weigh less than this one. Uh, you know, this weighs more than this. Uh, but it's probably going to be roughly three or four dollars for shipping. Uh, I can get them with tracking for an extra eighty-five cents. Uh, so you would just have to let me know what you want. So if you'd like to place an order, go ahead and message me on here. I will get it made as soon as possible. As soon as I get the order in, um, I hope to have them made within the next day and shipped. So you would get them in less than a week. Uh, if you're in the St. Louis area, I can meet you somewhere uh, and, and, you know, sell them to you. Uh, I might make a bunch and try and get them to, you know, be somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. There's my, uh, my top surgery fundraising idea. Um, paracord bracelets, uh, 10 or $12 each. They are so much because paracord is not cheap. You can get the cheap stuff made in China. Uh, all of my paracord is made in the U.S. It's a uh, high-quality paracord, uh, if you will. Uh, I mean, uh, it's, yeah, all U.S. made, uh, which is awesome, you know, to, to support the U.S. economy, I guess. Um, but even more importantly, it's, it's high-quality. So, um, yeah, if anybody wants one, let me know. If you think that it's uh, not going to sell, let me know. Uh, if you think I need to lower my prices, let me know. You know, I'm, I'm kind of new to this, but... That's basically what I decided would be good so I don't have to sell 2,000 bracelets. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments. Alright, buy some.